Hello, my name is Michael and I am the new teacher and owner of OnlineEnglishTeacher.com and I welcome you to the class and a little bit about me. I have been teaching English for nine years, right? And I've worked for several international companies. Uh, I've taught uh, students all around the world, right? From uh, Latin America to Asia, right? And many other parts of Europe as well. And I'm here today because I wanna teach you. I really enjoy teaching students and I wanna teach you everything that I know about English and I really want to see you guys grow, right? So if you like this con content, please like and subscribe, right? Or even leave a comment below to see what type of other materials or even videos you like to see in the future, okay? So something that we're gonna talk about today is that we're gonna talk about how um, speaking formally can actually hurt you than help you, right? What I mean actually mean is that speaking formally is good, but it's also very important to speak casually, right? Because if you speak in a casual way, you can communicate much more effectively, okay? So when you speak, ca when you speak formally, you and you, you, you're essentially sticking to the rules and standards, right? You're sticking to the rules and standards of the language, right? That means you're understanding the grammar, you're understanding the, uh, the conjugation of the verbs, right? You understand how to communicate effectively, right? In, the, in a correct sense. But we have to understand uh, that language grows and moves, right? And kind of goes into unconventional areas, right? And thus expanding the lingual or lingo or terms, right? What I mean, what we mean by that is that English, the English language is evolving, right? Uh, the way that, because I'm from California in the United States, uh, the way we communicate in California is very different than the way people communicate in uh, New York, right? And it's also the same in countries, like English speaking countries. The way we communicate in the United States is very different the way they communicate in the UK. Excuse me. So when you speak in a formal way, uh, you block yourself from being able to evolve your language, right? So it's very important to, um, to constantly learn English, right? Because English is evolving, it's growing, it's moving, right? And if you just learn the structure and the rules only, then you're not growing and evolving with the language, right? So it's very, very important that you speak in a casual way as well, because it helps you learn English as well as it helps you understand other people, right? Something we could think is that, something that we have to understand is that when you speak formally, actually limits your ability to communicate, like I said previously, right? Uh, when you speak casually, you actually can um, understand and communicate with other people easily. However, we have to understand that uh, speaking formally is also important, right? It's important for the IELTS test. It's important for business English. And it's also important for more, you know, as well, formal situations. Um, but it's also very important to speak in a casual sense as well, because it can actually help you maybe with your IELTS test and for business English as well. Uh, we'll cover that in the next three slides. Um, the, the first point, uh, when you speak in a formal sense or a formal uh, uh, um, communication, you won't be able to uh, communicate with subcultures, right? What I'm talking about is code switching. Code switching is the ability for you to uh, adjust your communication and style of speech and behavior and expression to communicate to different groups of people, right? Let's say that you wanted to communicate to maybe restaurants, right? Let's say that you are a, uh, you work in the business of restaurants and you wanna work or you wanna communicate with people, you're trying to make a product or make a, a service that helps restaurant owners and restaurant employees, right? Uh, if you do not know their language or the ability to communicate, 
then they have a harder time understanding or trusting you, right? So when you are able to code switch, that means that you can go from being formal to casual very easily, just like that, right? And when you're not unable to do that, do that, and you just stay casual, people may not see you, uh, they may see you in a negative light, right? They may see you as being too smart, too, uh, you know, pompous, too uh, arrogant, right? But when you're able to code switch from being uh, formal to casual, then people will see you as more human, more, uh, you know, relatable. And something that's surprising as well is that many politicians and business owners actually do the same thing as well. So um, don't think that speaking casually is bad or that you know it's only for stupid people. No, even politicians and business owners use uh, uh, code switching from going from formal to casual uh, more often than you think, right? And they do this because you know they want to get support of certain groups of people, right? So it's very, very valuable from being able to code switch from formal to casual, right? No matter what the group of people, who they are, right? So it's very important that you uh, can do this. Another thing too is that when you speak, in, when you speak formally, it actually limits your ability to communicate. And what I mean by this is that um, people get so stuck on uh, learning English Right, they get so stuck on what is my level on English? Oh, I'm you know I'm C two or I'm a B two. Uh, that means I'm good at English. No, not really. You have to understand, like I said before, is that English is evolving, right? And when if the language is evolving, that means that you have to evolve with it as well. When you're when you're stuck speaking formally, you're you are blocking yourself from being able to. Uh, being able to communicate effectively, right? So it's very, very important that you be able to go from, you know, formal to casual. Okay, the second point. Speaking too formally can actually make you sound robotic, right? Nobody really wants somebody, nobody really wants to have a conversation with somebody who's just really boop, boop, beat like a robot, right? When you sound robotic, your communication actually, actually conveys less, right? Uh, it means that, people do not feel you and people do not understand you when you sound robotic, right? You're just like, all right, uh, hi, how are you? Ba, 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 ba. It's, 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 it's unrelatable, right? People want to relate to the speaker, right? Or the people they're having conversations with. So when you speak formally, it can actually make you sound like a robot. Um, Formal speaking it can make you sound pre pretentious and in casual conversations. Like I said before, it makes you sound pretentious. Pretentious is, means that it makes you sound too arrogant, too like you're better than everybody else. And that's not why you learn English. The reason why you wanna learn English is because you wanna communicate with everybody around you, right? You wanna communicate, maybe if you travel, you wanna communicate with people at the Starbucks. You wanna communicate pe with people at the airport. You want to communicate with, you know, maybe your grandchildren, or maybe you want to communicate with some English speaking friends, right? So, but when you speak formally, it makes you look too uh, pretentious and arrogant if you do it all the time. That's why it's important to go speak casually as well. <clears throat> and something you have to understand that this creates distance when, you, when you're speaking formally all the time. When you're speaking formal all the time, then it creates this sense of um, this person cannot, I cannot relate to this person, right? That's why casual speaking, like if I, for example, let's say that I knew your language and I knew all the informal or casual uh, words of your language and I started communicating with you, right? Would you trust me more? Most likely, yes. Right, but let's say that I knew your language, but I was speaking very formally, like a robot. Uh, would you trust me uh, as much as I was speaking to you, like I knew the same casual words of your of your language and culture? Probably not. Right, you you, you want somebody you can relate to when you're speaking, right? But if I'm speaking too formally, it blocks that. Okay, 
If someone speaks in an informal way of communication, they may have a difficult time understanding you, right? Let's say that you're trying to be formal all the time, right? Somebody who's speaking maybe in an, a casual or an informal way of communicating may have a difficult time understanding you. So that means you have to come down to the same level of communication, right? So you have to speak casual with them when they're speaking casual with you, right? Um, the best way to know when to speak uh, uh, casual and when to speak formal is to listen, right? If somebody's speaking maybe like words you kind of don't know, right? And they're speaking kind of maybe not like in a very, they're not speaking correctly, then you may want to adjust your English to that level, right? And maybe speak English in an incorrect way as well. Uh, but this is for students who are at a much more higher level, right? Because uh, if you're having, even if you're still having trouble with English, um, it's always just best to do your best to uh, communicate. Understand it's okay to make mistakes, right? I think I mentioned this before. It's okay to make mistakes with learning English, right? Uh, everybody makes mistakes and it's okay, right? Um, but don't let it block you from communicating. It's okay to say, oh, sorry, I don't know how to say that in English. Or, you know, let's say that you use, a, you conjugate the verb incorrectly, right? And, and people have a hard time understanding you. It's okay, you know, it happens. It happens more often than you think. And maybe if they're kind, they'll correct you, or maybe that you'll correct yourself and then you can grow with that. But try, but the problem is that we're trying to be too formal it can actually block you from being able to communicate effectively, okay? So uh, don't try to overthink your English too much. Just try to remember as much as you can and then, um, you know, communicate the best to your ability, okay? Let's go on to the next slide. Okay, uh, being formal can block self-expression. Um, being too formal can make a person too serious, right? You don't wanna to be too serious. In the, in, if you're working in a business uh, environment, yes, it's important to be serious. But let's say that you go to a bar, you go to a restaurant, you go to maybe hang out with some friends who speak English, right? Or you make, try to make friends who speak English, right? Being too serious or being too formal can actually block you from expressing yourself. Right. So it's very important that in especially in a lot of English speaking countries that ex self expression is very important. Right. So we want to see you express yourselves. Right. But in just kind of a fun way. Right. Your personality should shine through when you speak. Right. So um, something I see with my students all the time is that when I'm one on one with them is that they they have this type of like shield on them where they see me as the teacher and then they're the student and they have to have everything correct all the time. No, I, unless you're trying to focus on uh, uh, become a more prof uh, professional uh, conversationalist, then yes, that's important. But let's say that you're trying to develop just speaking skills in general. Uh, it's probably very important to speak uh, uh, casually as well as well uh, at the same time to speak formally, right? Because when you, um, you want to be able to, to express yourself like you do in your own language, like you do in English, right? We don't want to limit people. We want you to express yourself the same way, right? <clears throat> At the same time, you also become more interesting when you can express yourself, right? Um, that's always very good to do that. You know, you always want to be more interesting when you, uh, if you can, if you're able to express yourself in a casual way, right? So um, this, will, this can actually help you a lot more, right? Maybe in the business world or, or whatever type of profession that you're in, right? If you're able to communicate yourself in a way that uh, attracts more people to you, but in a positive sense, then speaking casually will, will always be more beneficial than speaking uh, formally, right? It's just, you have to know when to speak in a formal setting and when to speak in a casual setting. Okay, I think I covered this. Being formal blocks you from being too open, which actually just demonstrates that 
that it stops you from being relaxed and comfortable with yourself, right? This is going back to being too serious, right? Um, if you're too serious, if you're not relaxed, if you're not comfortable with yourself, then you're only blocking your ability to speak English, right? So it's always important that you speak in a casual way as well in a formal way, right? So that's it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the YouTube video or in the, U in the Facebook group. We have several Facebook groups. They'll be linked in the description, right? But if you'd like to see any more of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon. Remember, practice every single day and take care, okay?